आजच्या पॉडकास्ट सिरीजमध्ये सर्वांचं सर स्वागत आजचा पॉडकास्ट हा खूप इंटरेस्टिंग असणार आहे कारण आजचा जो पॉडकास्ट आहे लॉन्चिंग ऑफ मेकॅनिकल अँड रेल इंजिनिअरिंग बीटेक प्रोग्रॅम ॲट एम आय टी कॉलेज ऑफ रेल्वे इंजिनिअरिंग अँड रिसर्च यावरती असणार आहे कारण मेकॅनिकल ही ब्रांच तुम्ही ऐकलेली असेल बट मेकॅनिकल अँड रेल इंजिनिअरिंग हे नसेल ऐकलेलं फर्स्ट टाईम एम आय टी कोरल लॉन्चिंग बीटेक इन मेकॅनिकल अँड रेल इंजिनिअरिंग दिस टाईम तर याबद्दल ऑफकोर्स तुम्हाला हे जाणून घेण्याची उत्सुकता असणारच आहे आपच्या या पॉडकास्टमध्ये आपल्याबरोबर आहेत प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर माने ही इज द एच ओ डी ऑफ मेकॅनिकल अँड रेल इंजिनिअरिंग एम आय टी कॉलेज ऑफ रेल्वे इंजिनिअरिंग अँड रिसर्च पार्शी महाराष्ट्र हाऊ एक्झॅक्टली दिस प्रोग्रॅम इज गोईंग टू हॅपन वॉट आर द ॲडव्हान्टेजेस ऑफ दिस प्रोग्रॅम हाऊ स्टुडंट्स विल गेट अँड बेनिफिट्स ऑफ दिस प्रोग्रॅम्स ऑल दिस टाईप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन्स विल कम इन माइंड्स ऑफ द स्टुडंट्स अँड देअर पॅरेंट्स ॲज वेल अशा सगळ्या प्रश्नांची उत्तरं आपल्याला आज एच ओ डी सरांकडून भेटणार आहे सर आजच्या पॉडकास्ट सिरीजमध्ये तुमचंही सरचं स्वागत आजच्या पॉडकास्ट सिरीजमध्ये हे आहेत प्रोफेसर माने ही इज द एच ओ डी ऑफ मेकॅनिकल अँड रेल इंजिनिअरिंग एम आय टी कॉलेज ऑफ रेल्वे इंजिनिअरिंग रिसर्च वन मोर टाईम आय वेलकम यू सर माझा पहिला प्रश्न असा आहे सर की वाय वी आर लॉन्चिंग दिस मेकॅनिकल अँड रेल इंजिनिअरिंग ॲट एम आय टी कोरल या ऑब्विसली द फर्स्ट इन्स्पिरेशन केम फ्रॉम अवर फाउंडर दॅट इज प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर विश्वनाथ कराड हू ड्रीम्ड दिस कोर्स ॲट एम आय टी बारशे अँड नाव इट इज एक्झ्युकेटेड ॲज वी नो दॅट द रेल्वे इज बिंग बॅकबोन्स ऑफ इंडियाज इकॉनॉमिक इट कनेक्ट्स नॉट ओनली द पीपल बट ऑल्सो द इंडस्ट्रीज अक्रॉस द ग्लोब विद इन इंडिया दॅट्स वाय वी हॅव रेकग्नाइज द ग्रोईंग नीड for engineers in this specialized field and we have started this curriculum uh, in the MIT Varshi. Wow, great sir. I really appreciate the vision of Dr. Vishwanath Karad sir. But I, uh, I mean in my mind there is one more question parallelly come. It is like the, what is the difference between the traditional program mechanical engineering and mechanical and rail engineering? Yeah, obviously it is an interesting question. Uh, the traditional mechanical engineering always holds importance uh, which covers so many core subjects like heat transfer, refrigeration and air conditioning, material science and that principles you have to use, utilize in the rail engineering. Okay. So, uh, students will get benefited of both curriculums. Okay. So, you can see in railway engineering, you can study about more that rail infrastructure, development of advanced railway technologies, etc. Okay. Even though railway safety features. So, students will get knowledge of mechanical as well as railway related curriculum okay. and they have the opportunity to go in both sectors. Really? great sir because as you mentioned like they will get an advantage in both they can go with an core mechanical companies as well as they will get an advantage into the railway related infrastructure companies yes but now questions will come like ki, how the curriculum will be developed or how exactly the process behind it because uh, as you mentioned like the railway infrastructure it may be railway rolling stocks and operation design part so can you brief about the the curriculum of this program Yes, sure. Uh, it is actually a four years degree course. Okay. Uh, that first year is common for all disciplines. Absolutely from right. second year, from second year onwards to final year, the curriculum is actually mm-hmm. for that course. That is for mechanical and real engineering. Right. So the course is mainly divided in two parts. That is first, it is about interacting learning classes. That is the theory classes. And second is the hands-on sessions. That okay. is, you can call it as a practical So in practical students will get in depth knowledge about how railway operations are there mm-hmm. uh, about the manufacturing process of railway stockings etc okay uh, apart from that uh, the student also go for in plant training at railway related organizations even right. though mechanical core branches they have the interdisciplinary project activities also right. so the curriculum is very fantastic and it is very interesting uh, to rather go for mechanical engineering the i encourage students to go for mechanical and real engineering good 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 now we were already initiated the talk on like the students can go in industry as well yes how exactly these uh, students are uh, i mean they are going with for the internships or the short projects or any specific project based learning into the industry itself are you associated with any industries or uh, i mean 
how these students will get, get, get the benefits from the industry. Sometimes because industry is not only the governments, some private industries are also there who are working within railways. Yes. Right. So. Is there an interlink in between college and the industries? Yeah, obviously, there is a one parameter or you can say there is one concept that is industry institute interaction. Okay. So okay. through that, we have approached to so many mechanical as well as railway related companies. Great. So through that, we have different MOUs that is memorandum of understanding. Okay. Uh, through that, we are going to uh, send our students uh, in different organizations for workshops, for implant training, for internships also, okay. where they will get knowledge about the practicals. Uh, so, so that bridges the gap between academics and practicals or you can say industrial knowledge. Okay. So this is very helpful for the students. Right, right, right. 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 Great, great. Uh, sir, uh, of course, students will go into the industries, maybe private industry as well as government industry. But nowadays, or we heard that so many uh, news like uh, accidents happens, uh, some problems happens, train comes delayed, or so many other things are also there. Our industry, railway industry specifically, lagging. So, is there any research is happening on the behalf of college, or students are going to the, uh, uh, the research institutions under the railways, so that that type of collaboration and under that collaboration, some projects are happening or will going to be happen. Is there any innovations on the behalf of our MIT College of Railway Engineering? Yeah, absolutely. If you consider for the innovations or the research activity, mm -hmm. which is a backbones of every colleges or institute or even the you can say universities. So we are running the interdisciplinary projects okay. where students are involved from other branches also. Okay. And they are doing the activities to improve the innovation skills uh, you can say the knowledge they are sharing the knowledge and that makes a beautiful projects okay. uh, as far as concerning to the research activity we are also planning the different workshops different conferences we are uh, encourage students to go organize or participates uh, okay. in the different national level international level co conferences so through that they will have a research platform okay. and which is most required for the UG as well as for the PG level institutes okay, okay. great great uh, now we will come on the actual questions like uh, the students they will take the admission right yes. uh, after completion of their 12th HSC etc by JW or MSTCT but what are the official career opportunities means like for example after completion of BTEC in mechanical engineering they will get a chances into the different profiles yes. so how are these opportunities some private or government sectors etc yeah obviously it is the interesting questions because there is a big questions why to go for this branch that is mechanical and rail engineering right, right. Uh, so obviously I, I would like to first clear that water may be the opportunity is after plain mechanical engineering all are available, so all are available for this course great, great. and apart from this uh, that students uh, can join Indian Railways right. they can join you can see the different uh, metro projects are ongoing right. in uh, metro cities that is Pune, Hyderabad, Bangalore so they can join as a project engineer as a maintenance engineer even though they have opportunity to join as a locomotive pilot okay. uh, apart from that uh, uh, they have also go for the uh, increase so if somebody wants to increase their higher profile right. uh, they can go for the mtex as well as the phds okay. uh, as well as they can join the research institute mm -hmm. so this is a huge opportunities right. and uh, i would say uh, if uh, the students join this program they have the dual opportunities right. that means they have a strong knowledge of mechanical as well as the railway right. so that means he can stand on both companies related to the mechanical as well as rail engineering right. 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 great i think this is a great opportunity for the students those who are watching this podcast you just grab it you can directly contact to the mit college of railway engineering and research because already I think admission process has been initiated so it's better don't lose the chance because most of the students not only from the Maharashtra other than Maharashtra they are also trying to take the admission in this course so this course is already started in Maharashtra in Barsi itself so this is it's very near to us I think you people can add, have an advantage uh, sir, Azuni, last question. Of course, as you mentioned, that students are going an advantage to take an advantage in both proper plane, all the mechanical engineering uh, companies, as well as rail related, all the private sectors, as well as government opportunities. 
uh, how these programs i mean how these students will be helpful for the nation development yeah obviously this is a very interesting questions uh, that is our vision is to graduate the students and send them in the uh, social or society okay so our students are learning a very interactive as well as they are getting the practical knowledge in this four year curriculum okay. so this will directly helpful to improve the railway infrastructures the railway projects okay. uh, you can say the railway related technologies right. uh, even though you can say the railway safety which is more important nowadays Right. because uh, so many because the railway is the uh, you can say uh, backbones of india's economy that is fine but uh, if you say the railway is the largest uh, sector for transportation of goods as well as the passenger right. that connects from right point you can say the jammu kashmir to the kanyakumari so obviously by improving the railway technologies uh, we are directly support for nation de nation development yeah great sir great i think we should really appreciate the efforts by the mit's team they are initiating this btech program in mechanical and rail engineering sir so my last question suppose students want to take the admission what is the process uh, please explain it yeah the process is very simple they must have to qualify 12 science right and in the 12 science they have the subjects like physics chemistry and mathematics okay. is must for them and if the students is in category it they should have at least uh, 120 marks out of 300 for pcm okay. and if the student is in open category then it uh, he should or she, uh, she should have at least 135 marks okay, marks right. out of 300 mm -hmm. apart from that uh, if you are looking within maharashtra or if you are from maharashtra then the cet is must for him or her Right. as well as if you have appeared for the je then it is well right. but the candidate who is from outside the maharashtra okay. she or she has must given the je double exam okay. so student belong from the categories they should have minimum 120 yeah. open category 135 pcm yes. and even i think uh, there is one more rule in state government like if they have less than this marks then they can add and by law subjects or the occasional subjects as well yes they have this opportunity have minimum 135 or 1 120 uh, plus yes yes and mst cet and or je double yeah. out of these two exam one exam is compulsory, compulsory to get an admissions right yes yes okay great so as sir already had given a great information about the uh, why mid corridor is launching and btech in mechanical and rail engineering uh, what is the vision behind this launching and this program this year because already colleges and are getting approved from the ic itself so 2025 26 batch uh, students can take an admission into the same sir has already given great information about the curriculum what are the benefits well, the traditional mechanical and mechanical and rail engineering then the placements part already has explained internship project based learning everything he has taken i mean explain everything but other than this also he has given a great insights about how this program will support for the nation developments so it's a good opportunity for the students who would love to go with a mechanical and rail engineering programs so already admissions are i think open for this yes. year 25 26 batch so visit Uh, mitcorridor.edu.in or directly you walk in to the college and you take an additional insight from the the professors uh, the counseling cell admission head and uh, the team who is taking care of the, uh, the admission process of the mid corridor and state government cell what exactly they have given the processes like cap 1 cap 2 cap 3 so that is the process uh, which is followed by this mid college of railway engineering and research so thank you sir thanks for joining the today's podcast i hope we will see you in upcoming podcast as well so that students and parents they will get in more information about the additional about these programs thank you thank you sir yeah thank you for all uh, giving me this opportunity as, as well as inviting for this podcast uh, i like i would like to give the message for the audience for the 12 standard students as well as for the uh, parents kindly join us mit corridor be a part of this transformative journey where education meets excellence thank you thank you sir uh, similarly podcast upon here yeah, series upcoming series made in anand sahur veg veg the program side the uh, how exactly mid corridor offering great education in a market ashe podcast series made tumhi connect karnyasathi aple youtube channel la connect kara uh, sagane subscribe kara like kara thank you